Hey guys, in this session we will discuss how to implement a stack using linked list. So first of all, a stack follows a first in last out or last in first out. That means any element which is inserted at the end would be the first element to taken out. So the basic operations are push, pop, pick. On other side, linked list is a linear data structure random access is not allowed at a time you have only one node access and each node has a pointer which tells us what is the next node so that means one node is connected to another node always the insertions happens at the end so now using linked list we need to implement a stack how can we do that so definitely insertion at tail is not the right solution what we can do here we always use a first node either for insert or delete so if we want to push if we want to uh, implement a push how can we do that any new element we will create a new node and we point head here and we'll make sure that the new node is pointing to the previous node. Let's say that we want to implement a pop. How can we do that? So we always has to delete head. That means head is pointing to C in this case. So we should point head to next element. So that means we have to we have to get the reference of node A and assign it to head so that we will skip it. So this is how we can implement a stack using linked list. Let's get on to coding. Create a new class. Stack with linked list. We'll create inner class which is private it has the two members data and pointer to next node so now we'll create a variable called head which will be holding our head node in our given link list so now we'll implement a push method push does not return anything so it's a void now push should take input data so now create a new node dot data equal to data and we, di we discussed that any new node we will assign to head that means the temp dot next should point to head and head should point to temp the new node became head now now let's implement pop pop should return the element value that means integer here pop it should not take any input parameters first check is is um, head null if head double equal to null stack does not have any value that means throw another stack is empty and we'll throw an exception saying stack is empty and we will add method, method level 
well you have to throw it so now we handle head is null now let's find what is what is the value on head node and uh, we need to point head node we need to make sure that head is pointing to the current head nodes next value so first get the head node value head dot data now head a head dot next so with this step we are making the head pointer to point to heads next node now return return value now we'll implement peak it returns uh, the head nodes value i mean the top uh, top element always but it should not uh, delete it so here also we need to check uh, if head is null or not in case of uh, head is null we will we will just print an error message and we will throw an exception also so now return head dot next sorry head dot data we will implement is empty also public boolean is empty so all we need to do is return head double equal to null in case head double equal to null it returns true if head not equals to null it returns false now let's implement another method to iterate and print the stack this is just for our reference uh, to see what all elements are present print stack generally this method does not exist this is uh, we are writing for our own uh, benefit we will take a temp node which is pointing to head we'll traverse using temp node temp not equal to null temp dot data now temp equal to temp dot next now let's write a main method to test our code public static void main we'll create create an instance for this class stack with linked list i'll just say sll so now right now it does not have any data so i'll push sll dot push 29 similarly i'll add a couple of elements So now it's 34, 23, 98, 46. Let's print. Print stack. So we're printing. Now we'll try to pop sll dot pop so pop should remove the topmost element and it should return will capture and print it
So now it is throwing an exception. I'm going to catch the exception and I'll move all these inside a try catch block. Now after this, we'll add one more element or we'll try to delete. We'll delete one more element here. Then we'll print the stack and see the result. Let's run the code and see the result. So now initially we have inserted 29, 34, 89, 23, 46. The last element we inserted is the first one to come out in our case. So now we deleted the first element. That means the last element which was inserted 46. That's the first thing to be deleted here. And the next topmost was 23, which is deleted in next pop. And the left out order is 93, 34, 29. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel.